CDC is supposed to oversee and ensure that member states adhere to democratic principles during elections. However, in Zimbabwe's case, their oversight was, let's say, less than stringent. This leniency has sparked widespread criticism, especially considering Nangagwa's controversial win. Adding to the turmoil, the Zimbabwean government made moves that only tightened their grip on power. Earlier this year, they revoked the registration of hundreds of NGOs. Why? Officially for non-compliance. But many see this as a tactical move to stifle opposition and keep external influences at bay, especially those that could mobilize support against the ruling party. And then there's the issue with the roads. Ahead of a major SADC summit hosted in Zimbabwe, the government pledged to fix its notoriously bad roads. This might seem like a small thing, but it's emblematic of how the country hurriedly tries to polish its image in the face of regional scrutiny without making deep structural changes that would genuinely benefit its people. So what's the takeaway from all this? It seems SADC's role in Zimbabwe's elections was less about ensuring fairness and more about political maneuvering. This isn't just about one country's failed election, it's about a regional bloc struggling to uphold its own standards. For political analysts and those of us who follow these developments, it's clear. The integrity of democratic processes in Southern Africa is at a critical juncture. And as Zimbabwe heads into another term under Manangagwa, the question remains, can SADC step up and truly advocate for democracy, or will political convenience prevail? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment your thoughts below. And be sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates from Zim News Live, YTS.